Hey guys, this is me Rachit Jain and today I am back with a video on unexplored data structures in C++. Data structure is called as policy based data structure and we can do a lot of things. We can add and remove elements from it. We can find the number of elements which are less than a given value x. We can also find the kth smallest element. We can find the min and max elements and we can do all of this in OLAG and time. What if I asked you to implement this? You would have surely faced a lot of troubles. But the good news is it's already implemented in C++. So guys, if you will see over here, these are the two header files that we need to include. And this is another namespace. Over here, I'm using typedef to create a new data variable of type pbds, which I'm using to create a variable over here. So this line is nothing doing but telling that we are maintaining a list of integers and maintain them in less int comparator function which means that the numbers or integers will be stored in ascending order as you can see over here i have inserted a few numbers so the total content of the set or policy based data structure is 1 3 5 7 9 and 11 to find the kth smallest element you just call find by order k minus 1 this will give you the kth smallest element to verify i have printed the values for k equal to 3 and 5 and you can verify from here the third smallest is 5 and the fifth smallest is 9. To find the number of elements which are less than x, you can simply call the function order of key and pass the value of x in it. For x equal to 9, it prints 4 which is actually correct because there are only 4 numbers which are less than 9. I hope this is clear to you and you can use the kth smallest to find the min and max values too. So guys, today we learned a totally unexplored data structure in C++ which is very powerful than normal sets and maps. It enables you to solve a lot of hard problems. The links you can find in description. To get more updates, you can visit me at my Facebook page. And finally, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will meet you guys in the next video. Goodbye.